Hey guys, happy homebrew Wednesday. I wasn't going to do a video today, but uh, a friend of mine, Grant, Grant Walker, gave me some beers. Grant does mainly kits, but he also does some um, partials, and he's looking to get into all grain. But he gave me two beers, and I opened one tonight and I just had to quickly come up. Um, look at this. This is one of his stouts. And I've done an all grain stout before. And it was to die for. Beautiful. This. From a kit. I'm sure it's a kit. I think he's added something to it. I'm not sure. Because I've done this. This is one of the... Ed May kits that you can buy in England and I'm sure, I think that's what he said it was but this it's got like a hazelnut flavour to it and I don't know whether he's added anything to it you'll have to let me know Grant whether you see this or not if you see it, stick it in the old comments. If not, I'll contact you via Facebook if you don't if I see nothing in there. But look at the lacing and the head on that. From a kit, guys. I said last week, entry level beer from kits. I've done the Stu uh, Cooper's stout as well. That was beautiful. The Cooper's Irish stout. I haven't done the normal Cooper's stout yet. But look at that. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful beer. I don't know how long it's been aging. I think it's been a while, but you can't knock it. Right, what else have I got going on? Uh, I kegged my old Thumper clone uh, during the week. I think on Monday, and. There was a little bit left in a carboy, so I dipped it into a jug and had a quick taste. And already it's wow. I put on Twitter that at the time that I just fell in love with the beer because it, it just tastes gorgeous. So in I think I'm brewing this weekend. Got some things to bottle this weekend and I might attempt to make my stir plate which I've seen a few videos online I think I've got all the bits together now to make my stir plate so I can do some yeast starters um, so I'll be bottling and doing my stir plate this weekend but next weekend I'm brewing and Grant the guy who sent me this is going to come over and see how the old all grain machine works um, I think I said in my last homebrew weekend, teach a friend how to brew day. So, although he's making kits, there's another guy's coming with him who doesn't brew. Let's see if we can get him interested in making some kits because this. Look at it. Look. Amazing. From a beer kit. Look at the body and the head retention on that, and the lacing, look. Um, other than that, I think I've got a Flowers IPA on tap downstairs at the moment. Um, it's okay, It was the I think if you remember it was one of the ones that was about 3.7%. Um, it hasn't got lots of hops to it. It's, it's quite a flavourless beer if you like um, I did make up my Santa's Winter Warmer kit that's now been fermented out it's kegged in my king keg ready for Christmas I'm just going to leave it let it do its thing carbonate itself and have that over the Christmas never tried it before what I'm hearing <coughs> excuse me is good things about it so I'm looking forward to that um, I think next Saturday I'm going to brew an ESB. I might even try 
and do a double brew day. I know Hoppy Brew UK is doing one this week. Uh, so I might try and do one Saturday week. Do the ESB and probably a stout because Grant, you got me wanting a stout again, mate. Mm. Lovely. Um, he's also sent me a uh, London Pride clone, which is a partial. Uh, he says he doesn't think it tastes like London Pride, but I'm going to give it an honest review, as I always do, and see how that comes out. I'll probably do that for next Wednesday, though. Let that sit in the fridge for a bit. Uh, nothing else going on, really, guys. So enjoy the rest of your homebrew Wednesday, and uh, speak to you soon.